Hey there, and thanks for joining us at the Discraft Great Lakes Open. My name's Pixie Cannon, and I'm joined here with my good friend, Rebecca Cox. That's right. I'm Rebecca Cox uh, from Cincinnati, Ohio. So um, we're just going to get right into the action today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're on hole 10. And you really kind of want to be where a little sooner than where you just landed. Definitely. That second bush... You either want to be past it or you want to be before it. And that gives you the best possible look at the basket. It really, really does. I um, I threw it a lot further than what I wanted to, but I lucked out because there was an actual window, like a big old window that went straight to the basket. And I was like, oh, thank you. Well, I landed behind that bush in practice and it did not turn out like that. It didn't? Oh, no. <laughs> no. This hole kind of dog legs to the right, but basket's on top of a huge hill right there. Ragna was in, like, the Perfect best spot. spot. Yeah. And she threw, like, a mid-range or a putter. It was something that wasn't a driver, yeah. for sure. And that was a great shot. Yeah, another hole where placement shots are super important. It really is. Yeah, what yeah. you're talking about. I looked out, girl. <laughs> I really did. Yeah, I just tossed my Challenger SS right on up that hill. I was like, ooh! I forgot she did that. Oh my gosh. It was so that. awesome to see in real life her throw that almost all the way in the basket. Sarah, she was Sarah. down in the middle, like, and she threw a sidearm out shot, like a big Anheuser. And it almost went all the way so in. Cool. It was so cool. <laughs> Very steep green. It is. By the time we got up there, I was like, <laughs> I think that's what we were talking about, too. <laughs> How slow we were walking up the hill. <laughs> This is a par three, 318 feet that probably plays like 400. Yes, definitely. I uh, I did some funny business right there. Didn't turn out that great. Sarah has a killer drive. Oh, puts it, I think, Super in the circle. Bomb. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's right outside the circle, but wow. it was amazing. You really have to pump something up that hole to get it inside the circle. You do. And Ragna got it really far up there, too, with a backhand. And Crystal Fromm with a great shot. Nice. Right on up there. I had such a weird little gap right there. I had to throw like through the limbs, but it worked out. So what else? We had a killer wind on this hole. Did you? Yeah. Just pushing us down that hill. <laughs> I don't remember the wind being too crazy for us on that one. But on hole one, I remember being so surprised with how heavy that headwind was. I feel like as the day progressed, it got warmer, the wind chilled out a little yeah. bit. Thank you. I'm so happy that I saved that. <laughs> yeah, and on this course, there's only like a few places where they have OB. The roads are OB and um, to the left on 18. Ooh, hole 12 is a tricky hole. It's a 534 foot hole, par 3. And the area to the right down there at the bottom of the hill where all those trees are seems like a bad place to be, but it's where a lot of people go because there are a lot of, like, open shots. To the left, not so much. Yeah. I threw a sidearm down this gap every time, and I was really happy with the outcome, and it did the same thing just about every time I threw it. I feel so lucky to have an ESP force. 
because I never had to go off the fairway and look on this hole at all. I liked Ragnar's shot a lot. That's what I um, tried to do, just like a straight to the left of that tree, and then gives you a pretty good look at the basket. Yeah, her shot was awesome. It was right there in the middle. Yeah, the tricky part about throwing that shot is not going long, which is what I almost did. Definitely. The it's easy to do. So easy. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful hole. Amazing. <laughs> she made it look so easy. <laughs> that was so awesome to watch and be a part of. Yeah, I did not try to run that. I just want you to know. <laughs> she had a bunch that she was right on the middle, and I know tomorrow she's going to be making them all. Oh. Yeah, that What's was unfortunate. That to throw it all the way down there and then play around by the basket. Mm. Yeah, that's what I did. But it's okay. I'm not doing it tomorrow. That's my shoulders Yeah. Off. Yeah, mm. and that was Sarah's two putt. She threw it all the way down there onto the green. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> it was that's so a beautiful amazing. shot. I forgot where my bag was. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> wow. Pull 13, 516 foot par four. This hill is out of control. It's too much. Yeah. See, Ragnar just threw a bomb, even though it's at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, it doesn't look like it went very far, but it went real far. Yeah, these are, this is a hard hole, but luckily enough, the left and the right are not OB. Yeah. And so you don't really have to worry too much, except for, you know, wanting to have great footing. Yeah, that's the really the only thing about this hole is just staying in the middle and Definitely. just throwing as hard as you possibly can up that hill. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to get any distance. And the positioning of where the basket is is, you know, way over there to the left. And so if you pull it to the right, even in the slightest, you're right in the middle of all those trees, and that's not that fun. That's a pump by Sarah. Oh, yeah. Getting oh. to the top of that hill in two shots is really impressive. It definitely is. Yeah. That was a really bad jump <laughs> put. <laughs> it was a good layup, though. So. Yeah, it worked out, but... Oh. Yeah, I'm happy with a four on this hole. Definitely. Honest. Just get your par and go yeah, on your merry <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah, nice. Crystal. Nice putt. Ooh. Do you give yourself a straddle? Um, no. I just couldn't move my foot. Like, um, if I kicked my foot back, there was like a vine that it would catch. Uh, and so I just, I still staggered my feet, but I didn't move my back foot. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this event it has already been so much fun. I just want to thank Steve Dodge and the Disc Golf Pro Tour, Smashbox, and the Disc Golf Guy for being out there. All the volunteers, they're all doing such a wonderful job. Oh yeah, it's a great first day, definitely. <laughs> Hole 14, you got a 375 par 3. It's actually one of the nicer birdie looking holes, 
or you can actually try and go for something. Um, you want to try and stay out wide because where Ragna's going, you're going to be way too far off to the left of the basket from there. Yeah, it takes the birdie look away. We had um, a really strong headwind on this hole and it threw my explorer. Um, but I was more focused with throwing it with Heiser than I was with throwing it hard. So it ended up early, but I got super lucky and was like in the second circle in the clear down there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, the headwind wasn't pumping as much whenever we threw it, but it was still kind of a slight gust. Yeah. And I threw a Z-Force and it flipped over and I got a little, I don't know why I got nervous because it always comes back left, but it just kept going and going and going. And then it started the hyzer finally. I was like, whoa, okay. That was good. Ooh. And this hole's tough, even though like a lot of the women can reach it if you get down there. That was that's, sick. That's awesome. No chains needed. Hey. <laughs> but even if you get down there, you have so many of those like guardian trees. It's not like an easy upshot by any means. It really isn't. Like a lot of the holes out here, that was a great putt. That was super great. Um, but like a lot of the holes out here, if you don't keep it in your landing zone, you're going to be working a little extra hard. Yeah. Great putt. Great putt. Good hole. Yep, we all got out of that alive and happy. <laughs> this is a really neat hole. I didn't even know that route that Sarah took yeah, was like real life. I didn't know about that route either until this very moment. Oh, yeah, and it worked out for her, too. It, <laughs> it was pretty, you know, it was in a pretty good spot. I just tried to throw a trespass with a little hyzer right in the line that she just threw. So yeah. I come back in, into that hill and give myself a look at it, too. But I wimped it too much today. That's a great short. story on this. Ooh, that's looking good. Yeah, I just threw a heat, you know. Just straight down there, land in the middle, take my three, and move on. That was my plan going into the hole. Another one of many steep greens. Yeah. <laughs> Initially, I thought that thought I threw that way too far. Yeah. But since the hill was so steep, it was <laughs> just fine. Ragna using her sorcery, got her disc up the hill. I like to do, do that too, like use hand gestures to try to like make my disc go. That's how it works. That's how the frisbees go where they need to go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nice. Thank you. <laughs> that one had me a little nervous out of my hand. Yeah, it happened to be on my toes, but it's fine. No pictures on a scorecard. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. There we go. Yep, well played hole yeah. all the way around on that one. That's like three holes in a row where we all start our. Okay, hole 16, 354, par three. Another one of those birdie opportunity holes, but you have to get through that mirage of trees in front of the basket. Yeah, this one, it's definitely birdieable, but. You really have to commit to your shot to get it through whichever gap you choose. That was a good shot right now. That was a really great shot. It's 
really hard to get any distance on that on this hole. It is. Even if you get through it, you're likely going to be on the left side, if anything. Yeah, I was an awkward turtle on my drive, and my disc ended up in the tree. But there is no two-meter rule. Hey, hey. <laughs> I was behind this tree as well. I had to do a one knee up shot. Ceiling so low. Woo! Oh, great putt. Awesome Sarah. sauce. Good par save. Definitely. Jump it right on in. I was a little bummed about that one. I'm bummed about that one. But I dusted my shoulder off and moved on. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> oh. But seeing it again, it's like... Oh. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That's okay, though. I'll be even more stoked tomorrow whenever I par it. Yeah. Or birdie it. <laughs> this one's hole 17, 525 foot par 4. This one, that is like a great spot to be on this yeah. hole. You, the real great spot to be is to the left of that bush if you can get the distance off off the tee. You know... Whenever I was practicing this, John Perry told me, whatever you do, just don't go in that bush. And so that's what I told myself whenever I got on the tee box. <laughs> just don't go in that bush. <laughs> but even that bush is hard to reach from the tee box. It is. And since I told myself that, I didn't throw it as hard as I probably could have. And yeah, it ended up a little short, but it was still all right. Yeah. I try to set myself up so I'm like on flat land at the bottom of that hill. Yes. So I can actually throw a hard up shot. Because it's easy to get up on one of those two little hills that are mm -hmm. out there. And in that tall grass. Mm-hmm. Yep, you definitely want good footing when you're trying to throw up this hill. Yeah. It's one of those hills where you want to like disc up. Yeah. Because <laughs> it, it looks way more deceiving than. Maybe they'll get up there. Another one of those basket on top of the hill type deals. It's a little bit of a drop off behind it. Yeah, it's kind of strange because, like, the hill keeps going up and then it drops down slowly afterwards. Yeah. But, you know, I was so was happy that? I threw that in. I threw that in. I needed that birdie. Great birdie there. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That was a great putt from the knee. Yeah. I always love to watch women putt from their knee because, you know, we don't get as much power, and so it's always interesting to see how someone generates that power. Yeah. You know, because... I hate that. Me my too. Re my, I reached down so low that I have to, like, cut myself off and do some weird little spin thing at the end. I just feel like I can never generate enough power, yeah. but... Ragna and Crystal have both shown us that, you know, they've figured out how to generate power, mm -hmm. even when there's, you know low ceiling. All right. This is like one of my favorite parts is all the high fives. Yeah. The camaraderie. Of Obviously. Everything. I high fived everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to be first on the team with the solo birdie. That's all. Yeah. Finish strong. Hey, hey. Through a pre-flight number ESP force through that gap. Yeah. We have... 315 foot hole, straight uphill, and that fence line is OB. 
out of bounds. So the biggest challenge on this hole is making sure that you can get up there and not go out of bounds or be in the rough part on the right side. Definitely. And that out of bounds is easy to get to. Real easy to get to. Very easy. <laughs> got kind of a low ceiling coming up this hill too with that tree branch. So you either have to go under it or around it. Oh yeah. I thought she was gonna Ooh. throw that in. That's a lot of power. You can just stand still. Mm-hmm, with a butter. Another great sidearm from Sarah. Yeah, she played that one really well. She did. And I really feel like it's 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 easy to play that whole sidearm sidearm. Yeah. You know, it Oh yeah. If you have it, use it. <laughs> there we go. I didn't think crystals was going to be out of bounds, but mm. it did. There we have Pixie King. There I am. And bang. Par. Par, par, par for party. Sarah. Cleaning up her super solid round. Oh my gosh, it was so solid. It was fun to be a part of. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Um, again, I'm Rebecca Cox from Cincinnati. I'm Pixie Cannon from Houston, Texas. Um, thank you to Discraft, Discoff Pro Tour, um, Smashbox, and all of you for being amazing disc golfers.